Okay, sweet. Welcome back, everyone. Scoot in here. Grab my mic. We're going to get started. Um, this is going to be a pretty short stream. I'm not going to stream very long. Um, I have some other stuff to do, but I just want to tell everybody if I didn't, if you guys didn't see my post yesterday on my YouTube community tab, Merry Christmas. I hope you and your family had a, a blessed holiday there. So uh, we'll get cracking here. And, uh, try to get some things done here in Smithville Dam. So uh, let's get started. What is going on, Oni? Welcome in, man. Merry Christmas. It was good. It just it was a lot of driving. I originally was going to go out to my parents' house or my brother's house, and uh, it was too snowy with the wind, with the wind and the drift and the snow. So then we ended up going Christmas morning. And then we stayed the night and then drove back home this morning. So it, it definitely was good. It was a it was a good time. Um, okay, so we, if you watched last episode, we found the all wheel drive upgrade for the Kodiak race suspension for the fleet star. And what we're going to do is, um, we are going to try to knock out some missions and, uh, let's see what we can do here. So. What I will do. But what's on this flatbed trailer? Two vehicle spare parts. Okay. I technically don't need those. I don't really need those. That's true. That is true. Trying to think here what I'm gonna string together. Curtain side, I could probably do that. Tools delivery, that's gonna have to wait. Repair is gonna have to wait. Concrete slab. I need a crane truck for this. More fuel. I can get that from there. Okay, so hungry workers. So we're gonna do. Yeah, hold on a second, actually. Consumables there. Okay, so we'll do well, well, well. Then we'll do this to the drilling from the farm to the drilling site. And then maybe we'll do solid foundation and then we'll just figure it out. So let's get the Kodiak out. He is going to be working pretty hard today. Hopefully if I can get some stuff done, but um, also let me know how the volume is on the stream with my voice and also uh, the game sound. I've been messing around with with the Streamlabs OBS trying to get rid of my fan noise somehow it came back and I noticed it the other day and yeah messing with OBS is like it's just ridiculous sometimes it's just not really my my gig sounds clear good all right that's good okay let me see what well 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 has Spare parts. All right, cool. We're going to put two of these on just for weight. So pretty much the plan is to use the Kodiak as much as humanly possible. For the simple fact that it has, it's the only vehicle I own. That's a hauling class truck that has all wheel drive right now. Um, I do have close to enough money to purchase a fleet star or, or, a, or a pay star, sorry. But I don't think I'm going to go that route. I think that would defeat the purpose of me um, trying to make this a little bit of a challenge here. I'm going to see how far, see how far I can get. But the tricky part with using the Kodiak is... It can't use a crane with this flatbed. And it's not good at using a low saddle with a crane. So 
There, it's just a very hot, tough situation. Oh, what's up, Parasinator? Welcome in. Um, I do. I actually... You know what? We're going to take this route. Yeah, we're going to take this route. I'm actually going to go up here and take this route here. Let's try this. Yo, thank you for that prime sub as well. That moves up our DLC giveaway to five subs away. For the DLC giveaway. Appreciate that, man. Paystar can be, yeah, it can be tippy with, in some scenarios, but if you, for me, I, I'm not really concerned with it just because I'll use it with a, a low saddle, so I'll gain some, some balance from the trailer that it's hooked to. But yes, you are, you are correct. It, with add-ons, crane, all that stuff, it is a tippy thing thing. I'm sorry, guys. I always do that. We're currently still level three. Um, I'll actually show everyone my level real quick. So we are level three. We're almost halfway to level four. I do not have the white Western star already. Have not went down to pick him up. Not yet. So... I just unlocked all the upgrades here on Smithville. And, uh... Yeah, I think using the ANK civilian will be way too much. It's just gonna... It's not gonna make this a challenging run, so... I'm trying to stay away from that as much as possible. So yeah, we still have highway tires. This is the only vehicle I have that has all-wheel drive currently. And uh, yeah, it's it's working out pretty good. But yeah, guys, let me know if the game volume needs turned up, down, if it's too loud. Just let me know. I'm trying to get my my settings right here on on my stream lives. It's just it's a tough tough thing. Yeah, I found the all-wheel drive for the Kodiak. I think that kind of saved me because, as you can see, um, <laughs> Smithville is a lot, a lot more has a lot more topography than, than Black River, so it would have been really, really hard for me. What? Guess we can do this. Very interesting route, I have to say. This one I haven't taken a lot, to be honest. And, uh, probably for good reason. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do. We're gonna do something here. Wait, there we go. But yeah, it's uh it's very challenging <laughs> right now. You just turned off your snowrunner new game plus. You unlocked attacher T815. Oh, nice, okay. Nice man. Another thing I think that's going to be difficult with this vehicle as well is uh, 
It's not necessarily great at hauling trailers, especially when you're going over um, bumps and such, because it, the trailer tongue will actually kick your kick your feet up or kick your uh, your back end up. Your heart gaming. Congrats on that gifted tier one sub from Oni. Thank you, Oni. Once again, man, very very generous. Thank you for that. Come on, my friend. But yeah, so the thing is, the Kodiak, is, it's weird. It's a weird vehicle because it has trouble with, with low saddle. Doesn't have a crane. Wait, what the heck? Oh, what am I doing? It's right here. Well, great work. Time to get drilling. Nice. I wonder... Oh, this is for a different mission, I think. Oh, let me go back in here, just make sure. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm not a masochist. You're not a masochist enough to play stuff like this? Uh... I guess, you know, to each his own. All right, I have to pick that up and take that back too. We're going to go do Hungry Workers. Because Hungry Workers will lead me to the drilling site. And then from the drilling site, will get take me to the Forester's home. Then, yeah, that's where we're going. Try to do some... Some chaining of missions together. I also need to keep <laughs> keep in mind that um, I need I need support trucks as well. This add-on, this this support bed right here, is from the Awesome Trailer Pack. So it gives you the option for the awesome two slot bed like this, the sideboard, or there's a flat bed as well. I think the flat bed looks a lot better, but I use the sideboard just because it catches some stuff. What's up, KOs? Welcome in, man. I did one. Okay, I did two missions off stream. I did. I did the mission where the stuck trailer was down here. I pulled the, here's the scout 800. I came down this path. I grabbed the stuck trailer. I pulled him all along this shore. Be careful if you do this because this shore is slanting down to the water. Um, and it's a pretty good pitch, but I brought that all the way. So what I did was I stayed as close to these trees as possible. Just in case I would tip, I would have a support line. You definitely want to keep close to trees as much as possible here. And then what I did was, um, climbed up through this gap, brought it right up through, turned it in after that. I brought the service spare parts over to this um, this block, this blockage right here, and with the Kodiak. And that is pretty much all I did since last stream. So, yeah. Not too much, but yeah, I need to self out of this. Okay, there we go. Eh. Whoops. Hey, hungry workers, I think. Yep. Go get consumables. But if you guys would like to know the rules for the challenge, you type in exclamation mark rules. You can see what we're what we're dealing with here. But if you're watching this on YouTube, you probably can just uh, look in the description of the video and you should be good to go. Okay. Let's go. Hungry workers. Okay. To this part here. I could probably do across the river. 
Mm. This is going to be tough because I have no fuel down here at all. None. There's no fuel. There's a ton of trailers that I need, I'm going to need to turn into. So that's going to be a lot of like logistics, but all right, we'll just continue. So yeah. And I pretty much know where to go from there. And I just logged off of uh, World of Warcraft. My buddies, my real life friends, they talked me into playing. I, I was a huge World of Warcraft player, but they talked me into like starting up again and stuff like that. So I'm like setting up keybinds and things like that. And I just got off there a minute ago. I was just messing around kind of. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to put in a little bit of time here today. See what I can get done. I just feel like there's not enough time in the day. Because I, and definitely there's other vi video games I want to play. I want to play... I want to get back to playing World of Warships a little bit too, actually. That's probably the game I, I was the best at of all of them. He's trying to talk you into WoW last week. It's it's a tough game, man. Like, I played it since vanilla, and then there were, I took a lot of breaks. So there were some expansions I missed just because I just it sucked my life, man. It is like it's not a game that you can just pick up and put down. It really isn't. Like, it's cool and all whenever you, whenever you're like you know just graduating high school or going to college and. You don't have a lot of things like a lot of commitments and stuff, but man, whenever you're grown up and you got like a big boy job and all that stuff, like you just can't dedicate that much time to it. Eight years, the Burning Crusade, Wrath of the Lich King. Yep, same here. And then I think I played Spotty on and off. I played, I think, I think it's a BFA. And then, yeah, I don't know. And it's tough. Highway tires, my goodness. See, like, this stuff is awesome, like, like, Saber did such a good job with, with just making these trails, like, you know, bumpy, they're not, I don't know, they're not, like, super muddy, like, we have highway tires, we're kind of cruising through here, not too fast, but the main concern is balance, really, not grip right now, and I think that's what needs to be more of a, an emphasis on this game. New Game Plus should have had like a mode where you could only play American trucks on American maps or NA trucks on NA maps. So, yep, still on the highway slicks, man. Welcome, what's up, Naked Dave? Welcome in, man. I leveled. I'm level three right now. So, let's see. Stop my engine. I'm level three with 2,500 experience. It's gonna be a while, but we found. The randomizer was nice to me and gave me the all-wheel drive for the Kodiak here. So that's basically why I'm using... Gosh, I keep doing that. Hold on a second. I gotta get this right. There we go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right?
The master of suffering. In his defense, I asked for it. <laughs> All right, let's uh get this over here. Okay, that was close. Dyson Diesel almost had a mutiny on their hands. Great work. 240. 2400 cash. That's great. Uh, let's see. Is it solid foundation? Yeah, I don't have that. I need that. Need to get that though. I can do this. Probably can bring this trailer at least down to this junction. This is going to be a whole other issue. Yeah, I'm going to need to get fuel and I need to get a, tr a crane truck down here, but we'll do this right now. Ah, oh, I swear I used not I used not to do that. OK, I need to. I'm holding on to. Directional right too long and releasing the gear too short and that's why it's beeping straight up laziness man yo Giuseppe welcome in when was the last time I played wows oh man the last time I played wows was February of 2021 um it was actually it was right before I started making videos for this. I was doing Clan Wars. Um, I think so. I think it was called Clan Wars. I was doing those with a, a pretty good clan, actually. And I don't know. It was right around whenever they they brought out the new commander. The day they brought out the new commander skills, where they took away, um, what was it, superintendent for cruisers. So cruisers like the, the Stalingrad. So you basically, your extra heal is like totally gone. So at that point I was like, you know what, this is kind of dumb. And then they took away, I think that's what, or they took away something, I forget. Just that they took away tankiness. Fire prevention, that's what it was. Fire prevention, yep. That's what it was, fire prevention. And then they were talking about submarines being implemented. And I was like, yeah, this is, I just know how this is going to go. And I've been over like in Flamu's stream and stuff like that, asking people questions and stuff like, hey, is it worth it to come back? And a lot of people were telling me, no, it's not. So, I don't know if I'm going to come back. They're so bad, man. I just watched a video with Flamu getting hit with, like, seeking torpedoes. They're just insane. Like, dealing with... Su like, it, it just sucks because, like... You're trying to deal with destroyers. And then on top of that, you're trying to deal with Sky Cancer, which is... Um, CVs. So, carriers are broken so bad in that game. They just crush everything. And it just like sucks the, f they're like the fun police, right? And then you have another set of fun police, which is, yeah, subs. Yeah, they're, yeah, they are. That's a lot of fuel. Let's hope practice good fire safety, huh? Good stuff. Thank you. Okay. What is in, th I think those are bricks. Let me see if that gets taken anywhere. Across the river, lost bags, nope. Curtain side, that's a different one. Repair. Truck, no. I need to get a crane truck, man, to do this. Yeah, there's a lot of cranes that I need. Okay. I'm trying to think. What's a good one? What's up, alien? Welcome in. Good to see you. 
How you doing? How's your Christmas? Every, everyone, uh, Merry Christmas, by the way. If you guys didn't see on my community post on uh, on YouTube, hope you guys had a Merry Christmas. Hope you guys had a wonderful time with your families and hope you had a blessed day as well. Man, okay. A lot of crane usage here and I don't like it. <laughs> Oh man, I don't, really don't want to. Okay, let me think this through. I just need a, a second. Let me go back to my garage and try to think this through because there's a couple things I need. I need a crane and I need fuel. So, um, and getting back there to that, that spot I'm at is, it's kind of hard because it's kind of remote. Frozen pipes. Oh my goodness, man. I'm so sorry. I was really afraid of that too. I actually put towels around my out, outdoor spigots and wrapped them real tight and stuff like that. Just hoping like it would retain some of that heat from the house. Cause I didn't have a cover at all. I'm sorry to hear about that, Chris, man, that sucks. Okay. So we're, I know what we're going to do. We're just going to. I'm going to try to complete across the river. Actually, maybe not. Hold on. No, no, no. Let's not do that. I'm trying to think. Hold on. Let me look at these missions. Enter stores. Vehicle spare parts. Yeah, got it. That would be nice because that's going to open up something. The essentials. Bricks there. I think there's bricks on here. Hold on a second. No. There. Oh, wait. Okay. There's the spare parts there. They eventually thought and there was no damage. Oh my goodness, man. I'm glad it didn't bust. Okay. Well, this is what's ha this what has to happen. Um, yeah. I really don't want to do this, but I have to. I I really don't want to do this. I'm going to go grab that semi semi trailer down there. Uh, yeah, and I might as well just pull this thing down toward that way because this actually solve some of my problems, which is fuel. I'm glad your pipes didn't bust that. I think when you said they were frozen, I immediately jumped to a conclusion that you're your pipes busted. But yeah, Giuseppe, um, I was, I think I was pretty good, um, at, at wows. I think I topped out, I think my overall win rate was like 56. I was approaching 57% total win rate across my account. Um, I played cruisers in, in clan, clan wars. I think I might go this way. Yeah, you know what? I'm actually going to. I don't want to pull this thing down through here. Might just pull it through. Oh, you know what? Actually, hold on. We'll pull it up to here because these two things go to that mission. So, and prob yes. So let me see if I can actually find it. Is it wow's? What is it called? Wow stats. 
No, is it WoW's? WoW's stats, I think. I agree, let's see. Improv. Yep, that's my profile. Improv. Yep. There's not a lot of data on me anymore because uh, I don't have a an, an active account. House was built in 1880. You've owned it for seven years and never had them freeze. That is insane. Wow. Oh, I don't allow links. Um, Giuseppe, I looked. I looked at it. I can actually pull it up on. Uh, give me a second. Wow, stats. Let me actually go like this. Display capture. So N prov. Yeah, that is my that is my account. I don't had I didn't have a ton of battles. That's the crazy thing. But my win rate was three percent from Unicom. And I think my uh what was it in division? 57%. That's why I pretty much play with my best friend. And then... Let's see here. Didn't really play with carriers, as you can see. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I did pretty, I did pretty well. Let's see. Let's go down here. I probably played the best in, like, the Des Moines, honestly. This is, this is what I used to play whenever this was like meta back in the day when right before I think it was right before um, the Petro came out I would do people pretty dirty uh, with the Des Moines um, with accelerating sometimes like even with against like a Moskva or um, a Moskva let's see what else uh, Stalingrad There'd be times where after they fired, I would just put it in, in forward and I would be able to actually get around them to the point where I could punch their citadel and I would just run through them. But that those were the times before Sky Cancer was put into Clan Wars. And, and then as soon as it happened, it is a strong PR farmer for sure. I need to kind of like stay this way. But yeah. I definitely liked battleships. The thing is like I was a, I was huge on like secondary battleships. Like huge on the Kerfurst. That was actually my the Kerfurst was my first battleship ever. It was my first tier 10 actually. And I think my win rate was my win rate and damage per game was actually pretty good. But yeah, it was a that was a fun game, man. Wow's Wow's was really fun. I do I do genuinely genuinely miss that game for sure. Yeah, I heard about the Schlieffen. I mean, I've watched I watched a lot of footage on the on the Schlieffen. It's just a uh, it's a monster secondary ship. It just uh, it's a tad squishy. I love how it's fast. I love how it has like self-defense torpedoes that are actually long range. So, man, yeah. Big guns. If you use the Schlieffen right, you can just chew people up. You have a love hate. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> I feel like it's how we all are, right? <laughs> Come on, baby. Don't fail me. Don't fail me, highway tires. Okay, so the plan is... I'm going to get this uh, trailer over in this vicinity. 
this is the contract to complete this, this with this trailer is to turn it in. However, I want to use this, the resources in here to maybe complete all the tasks like around this little area and then I'll turn this in. It It's much better than me trying to bring the Fleet Star out here. I, I just don't know. I don't think the Fleet Star... It, actually, it would make it out here down these roads, but... It's also a lot of logistics that I don't think people really want to watch me, like, do this stuff. <laughs> you played since beta, reinstalled plenty of times. Oh, man. I started off... My, my Wargaming um, little career started at World of Tanks. World of Tanks was, like, my first love. I started... The crazy thing is I started off playing, like, Artillery... On World of, World of Tanks and just because I was new to the game and I got really good at it like uh yeah blind firing people leading people even like I got really good and I didn't play any like really big comp I didn't play any type of competitive actually and then I kind of quit playing a little bit because I didn't really have a bunch of friends to play with and then I got into like World of Warships, I guess. World World of Tanks was fun. I don't know. I think I forget when I stopped playing. I think it was like 2014-ish. I stopped playing. Your dog water at at, at World of Tanks. I'm probably terrible at it right now. Oh, sorry. Yo, what's up, Kane? Welcome in, man. Need some help installing the mod? You're on you're on EJS? Thank you for that tier one sub as well, Kane. I appreciate it, man. Where do I find my map files? Okay. So Give me a second. Do we have Naked Dave still in the chat? If not, I can try to help you out a little bit. You love World of Tanks until the trolls took over and mostly played the M55 or lights. Yep. There did there was a lot of trolls that took over for sure. Yay, Naked Dave. Um Kane611 is asking about how to install the mod. So if uh, if you guys can link up, it would probably help a little bit more than me explaining it. Uh, <laughs> you've already dealt with me. I don't think uh, I can explain it as well as you can. But yeah, Kane, that is the, the maker of the mod is actually in the chat. His name is Naked Dave right now. But yeah, if you need me to like give you a visual reference, Dave, just let me know what do you want me to show you and I can I can actually pull it up here to give him a visual. So yeah, just let me know. Nobody can be as bad as me. <laughs> oh, that's fair. Hey, that's that's true, honestly. Oh man. It was pretty bad. Okay, no, didn't need diff lock. Nice. Okay, this is actually not a bad route. Um, I probably could bring the fleet star down here through this and feel pretty comfortable with highway tires. What level am I now? I am 
I am level 3 with 2,900 experience out of 6,000. So with the uh, the times 5 multiplier requirement. So it is it's still a very much very much of a struggle here with these highway tires. But we're getting through. It definitely it's it's gotten a lot easier especially after getting all wheel drive he likes to suffer <laughs> I think this makes this makes it such a I don't know for me it's a better experience I mean I love to experience the game in its raw form but There's that. That's actually going to go to the uh, that stuff on there is going to that. Was it logistics base? Yeah. So that's going to be left here as well. Yo, penguins eighty seven. Welcome in. Love the name, by the way. Go Pens. Go Pittsburgh. <laughs> Why did I abandon the times three? I thought it was too easy. I thought it was too easy, honestly. But he here's the here's the thing, Chaos. Here's the real issue that I'm having right now is, is this. Um, I kind of talked about this before. You probably already know. Um, out with the old requires me to be level eight. And as you know, every level that you increase, I believe you need more experience up to a certain point. I don't know that certain point, but right now my, my level requirement is increasing per level. I'm not sure when it's going to stop and like level out, but I need to be level eight to do this. This mission right here is the requirement or the prerequisite for a lot of others. So that's kind of where I'm going to be stuck. So I'm going to be doing, if I can't get to level eight to do that, I'm going to be stuck doing a lot of logs just to try to get myself some good experience. But yeah, it is, uh, that's, that's currently like the, the issue. Okay. So, now, what we're going to do is, I'm going to go get this sideboard bed, this trailer, and uh, yeah, because I need it. The level curve does not flatten. Oh, gosh. Oh, man, that's that's even crazier. Modded or not. Oh, my goodness. Okay. i just been corrected there, so the... The level curve continues to rise all the way through level 30. But it's, it's going to be tough. They're, they're, I think I'm a little bit nervous about... Um, I'm nervous that I'm going to do all these, all these tasks, contracts, and I'm still not going to be level 8. And I'm going to be forced to move to Alaska just to... Just to level up. Come on, mister. Thank you. Okay, so the DLC giveaway. The DLC giveaway is something I started, I think, about maybe a month ago. Whenever I hit 25 subs, I'm going to give away um, a free, two free season, two free year passes, um, or multiple DLCs, depending on who wins the raffle. So whenever I hit that goal, I'm going to make a announcement on my YouTube community tab, and I'm going to give away 
those things uh, to someone. I'm going to do one raffle. And I'm going to give away those things to whoever wins it in the raffle on stream. The catch is you have to either be on EGS. So then I can actually gift, gift it to you or Steam. Has to be a PC user. Because I just, I don't have a, uh, I don't have an account on anything like, anything like a uh, console. Paul Lambert, thank you so much for that follow, appreciate it. Yep. It's a, it's a good, it's a little way of me to help give back. I might do two, I might do two raffles, honestly, we're gonna see. I really want to give, I really want someone to win that actually needs it. Do you know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people have content, so. So potentially a year three pass, yes, yes. Rusty the dude, welcome in. Thank you for that follow. Merry Christmas, everyone. I did not say it earlier to you. Merry Christmas. Oh man, okay, we're not taking this route with this trailer when we get it. This is going to be a nightmare. The thing I never understood is why they decided to make the Russian cranes make their little like landing gear, make them like flip out. Or the little outriggers things, and not the United States or not the uh, the NA trucks. Like these ones flip down, and the blue crane, which is on the RU trucks, flip up. I never understood that. Why they didn't just make them both like that? Oh, okay. Gotta go this way. Oh my goodness. 30 experience. And on this is not going to be fun. Oh, look at that. Not good. Okay. Cool thing is, is I think I can actually use these in planks. Might as well just drop those off there. Materials order. No. No. No, that's logs. Alright, cool. Got an idea though. Here's what we're gonna do. Spoiler 42,000 XP for level 8. Not sure if this amount available in Michigan as an experience. That is, uh, that is a lot of experience, man. They deleted you, Chris? Oh my goodness. That sounds like something uh, Wargaming would do. Okay, so I'm going to take th these things over to the farm. And I'm going to come down here. Repair this bridge. I might actually grab. Oh, uh, shoot. Let me see. What 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 is that mission? I grab bricks from here. And then bring them back to the farm. Come down here and I'm going to start completing some of these. Oh, man, this is it's just going to be it's going to be a thing. So let's get started. To be fair, you haven't played in four years. That is, yeah. They're probably just getting rid of old accounts. Maybe I should fire up my... I wonder if I even have my account still on World of Tanks. You know what? I want to see this. I want to see if I do. I gotta look. I gotta look real quick. Stats. Is it... Can I look them up? Improv...
<laughs> Wait a second, no way. Hold on a second, no way. Oh my goodness, okay, I gotta I gotta show this. I still have mine. <laughs> ah. Oh, that is hilarious. Okay, here's mine. I'm still on highways, yes. 52% win rate. Um, cash your points, draws. Let's see. I played I played heavy tanks a lot. I played SPGs, lights, mediums, TDs. Yeah, it was kind of. I played more tier six than anything. Here's why I'll show you. Because I I played the uh, I played the KV two like. A lot, man. Basically, I, I was almost... I was trying to get three stars. I think three stars is the is the best. That means like you're in like the 99th percentile or something like that. Player in this tank. But I had a pretty good win rate with this. I think... I forget what my KDR was. It was really good. But... I was really good in, in the Tigers. But this was before they add, start added like those crazy... Yeah, the troll gun. Yeah, man, I was. I think my my crew in this tank. I think it was like maybe five skill points on each of them. Like, my crew was amazing. But yeah, what else did I play? E one hundred was my first my first ever tier ten. I wasn't too I wasn't too good in E one hundred. Fifty percent's not too bad. For some reason, I did really good in the T28 prototype. Yeah, T54E1, I actually did really good in it. Yeah. Oh man, I love the Jumbo. The Jumbo was my jam. This was such a good tank. What other one? Tiger P. Yeah, okay, I'm done. You guys get the point. <laughs> get back to the game. <laughs> oh man, walking down memory lane, that's crazy. All right, let's let's continue this. Nobody plays ships. Man, the thing is, the crazy thing is like Man, yeah, German guns. Like the German tanks, man, like they they're act they were so accurate in that game. Loved it. But I'm going to I'm going to come out and say right now that we're gaming they're a little biased toward toward one nation. I'm I'm going to say that straight up. A little biased. Let's go this way. I'm actually going to sell this uh, this trailer too. I'm gonna get myself a different one. Starts with an S and ends with a no runner. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. It's kind of funny, I, I jump into um, two games back to back that have similar bias. Okay, let's do this. We'll dump two of these off here, and then we'll keep on cruising. These will go to that bridge. I'll grab bricks. Yeah, credit to them. They do they do make really good trucks and I, I mean to be honest, like the rationale I think I have is 
it's in a lot of those areas out there it's probably cheaper just to make a vehicle that can go through them rather than make roads like we do have here in you know the United States and stuff like that so I, I understand but I, I do think that we still produce really good trucks and they can be outfitted or retrofitted in a way to I think at least to at least be somewhat better than they they are so it was good clutch thank you man I did a lot of driving I originally was trying to head out on uh, early New Year's Eve but I got here. The crazy thing is I got on the road. We, we were taking my wife's car and I pulled out, got on the highway and I'm going down the highway and you know, the highways are, they weren't, they weren't good. Let's, let's just be real. They weren't, they were not good. And, and the wind was blowing. So you had the snow drift coming across. So not necessarily whiteout conditions, but you know, trucks are flying by you and you know, stuff was hitting my windshield and I go to spray the windshield and the windshield wiper fluid is frozen so at that point i was like there's no way i'm gonna make it if i'm gonna go down like 71 south and and be behind people spitting all that like that ash and that salt and dirt all over my windscreen like i'm not gonna be able to see so I, we actually turned around and drove home and then the funny thing is we took my car and I have a stick shift and it does really well in the snow, to be honest. I, I love it. And uh, so <laughs> the next morning, which was Christmas, Christmas morning, we we drive out. Kidding you not, my my windshield wipers were working when I pulled out of the garage. And I got about 20 minutes into the drive and they were frozen. So <laughs> we we made it, though. So it was a it was a trip. I'm on. Cool, now we have a bridge. Yeah, no, you're you're pretty much you're pretty much spot on there. That that that's to my understanding, that's that's pretty much spot on, I think. Unless anyone knows, you know, other history about it. Oh, I love freaking low saddle. Oh, sorry. No, I don't think they're useless in the game. I mean, I'm, I'm using this thing right now and we're... We own some highway tires. You know what I want to do? I want to... What? Huh? What? I want to use a pogrim. I'm, I'm trying to mess around because... I think I might be on to something here. Yeah. Okay, this is why, because there's more space in between here. That's why I got this on here. Okay, let's try pogroms out. Or, yeah, pogroms. This is a four slot. Oh, wait. I need to go get bricks. Yeah, I think, I mean, if you watch a lot of logging shows, man, I'm actually going to put all this stuff on, but also I got slabs, bricks, slabs. Okay, cool. If you watch a lot of like a lot, something that Max Power did was he did a lot of research on American logging 
and the tires they have are not like these huge mud tires you know they have chains on their rear tires going down these hills up these hills and stuff and yeah I don't, I don't think the, the devs did a lot of uh did a lot of trucking in their days Okay, so hopefully this trailer works out pretty good. Let's see how it does. It is still fun, man. I I mean, I'm I'm coming up on three thousand hours now, man. It's I think I'm like maybe thirty hours away from from three thousand. I have to I have to check, but. One second, I think my wife is back. Okay, I'm gonna be right back, guys. I have to help my wife bring in the uh, the groceries, so we'll be back in a minute, and then I'll uh, I'll continue here for just a little bit longer.
All right, we're back. Let's uh, I'm back in here. Grab my controller real quick. Okay, let me catch up with chat here. Really wish the Dodge Ram from the devs. Your Dodge guy, nice. What's up, Scotty? Welcome in, man. Good to see ya. Merry Christmas. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we'll take these bricks to the farm. And then I'll load up two more consumables just for weight. Just to give myself some weight on wheels. Oh my gosh, man. Your wife's in, a ho in the hospital on a respirator? Oh man, I'm so sorry to hear that. I'll definitely be praying for it, man. Definitely be saying some prayers for her. What, what's your wife's name? Candy? I'll be saying some prayers for her, man. Man, really sorry to hear that. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Gosh, I keep doing that. Oh, that's starting to annoy me. <laughs> I can't imagine what it's doing to you guys. Such a better, such a better trailer. Unbind my horn? I don't know if I can. Actually, wait, can I? No, God! No, God, please, Controller. no! Controller. No! No! I don't think I can, actually. I don't think I can unbind horn. Hello. Yeah, I, I don't think I can because it's on. A, I'm on a remote or a controller. It's fine. I'm just being lazy because I'm every time I hit clutch, which is like the R3 button, and then when I slide right, so directional right is my is my horn. So what I'm doing is I'm not pressing clutch long enough. It's just laziness. That's all, <laughs> basically. Yeah, I, I would. I would uh, like to use. I would like to use the bed with the crane for this truck. I think, but I'm kind of forced to use this setup here. But I think this trailer is going to help out. Let's go winter stores. No essentials. Let's do fishing. Okay, now we're going to go like this. Uh. What's going on? Something is glitching, dude. What is going on here? What is going on? Uh, do you guys see this? Hey, what's up, Gudge Jammer? Welcome in, man. Merry Christmas. I hope you're doing you're doing good. Yo. Oh, good call. Good call on the impact. Oh, I don't like that. How it's like. Okay, let's go. Onward. 
Good tip there, Clutch. Thank you for that. That was freaky, man. Okay, let's see here. What am I? I need to get to the drill site. <clears throat> drill site. Oh man, I gotta. I might actually just go. Yeah, I have to go. I'm gonna go around. I'm. I'm just gonna go around. I don't want to deal with that that little route over there where it's just like super super narrow. But then again, <laughs> I'm not. I'm kind of like slogging through. We are just knocking out tasks, gut, uh, guts. Just trying to knock out tasks. I have my work truck right now is essentially this right here. Actually, this is good because I can get get gas at that trailer over there. The Kodiak has been doing good. So, oh my gosh, see there it goes again. Sorry. Um, the Kodiak has been doing good. My dilemma was it it's not very good with using a low saddle crane like this. However, because there's crane, I mean, trailer collision. However, I think this trailer makes it work better because there's a good bit of space for travel. So, and then it can't use a crane and sideboard bed. So that option was kind of out for me. And there's a lot of missions that, that need one. That's the issue. It's like I need a crane for a lot of these missions. What is going on? Your grandma is 88. She's still cooking, gardening and stuff. She has more energy than me. Goodness, man. I, I hope I hope when I'm 88 years old, I still can do stuff like that. Yeah, it's it's not. The single axle in the back. It's tough, Scotty, but I think this setup right here with a four slot, the Pogrims trailer, I think is a lot better. So I, I, I really think we're going to have some success with this. I can't tell you at what speed, but <laughs> I think we're going to be good. I don't think the Fleet Star wouldn't have done really well here in Smithville without an all-wheel drive upgrade. You really do need it. This is this is a map where all-wheel drive is. I think you could do it. I know people have done it. I, there was someone that actually told me they they've done all of Michigan without all-wheel drive. I think it can be done. I just think it's going to be really tough. It does look a bit better, yeah. She raised your, she was raised by your dad and four children as a single mother. Oh my gosh, man. I don't know what I'm stuck on, but this is not good. I'm stuck on something. Yeah, a lot of deep mud. I'm such a gl glutton for punishment. <laughs> I think it's I think the challenge is gonna get easier from here out. I really do. And the reason is is um well we got the big engine for the twin steer, so that is a plus. We also have the twin steer that we can unlock later. That kind of gives me a huge truck to use if I if I really do get in a bind. Also, the P-16 is another vehicle that I'm gonna, probably going to have to call on for some things. It will definitely get harder. <laughs>
hopefully I can make it to my fuel stop. You're looking forward to the part when I get to Tamir? It's your favorite region? Oh man, Tamir is awesome. I do like Tamir a lot. It's the P16 is awesome, man. It's it's a really good truck. It just doesn't have a lot of flex in its uh in its chassis at all. It's super rigid. But I mean, it's awesome. Oh my goodness. Can I just get up here? Am I going to run out of fuel? Yeah, it is a monster in real life. I've seen the the loads of logs that thing carries. It's pretty wild. Okay, I have too much weight. I need to see if I even have to bring any of this stuff back to these places. Hold on. Materials order? No. Work for sweat? No. Essentials? No. Okay, I'm dumping this stuff. I'm just gonna dump it. Too much weight, not enough power. Not really benefiting too much right there. It's <laughs> Scotty. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, to be honest, we've we've gotten we've gotten a couple good missions done. At the speed though, the speed is not gonna be fast. I really I'm really missing out on a good a good gearbox upgrade right now. I would love to, I would really love to have a gearbox upgrade. Put the bed back, back on and make multiple trips. Well, well, you know what I should have done is, well, I wanted to be able to take multiple loads. So we'll try this out, and then what I might do is maybe I'll use like the little three slot or the two slot um, trailer like this. That could be an option. It'll make it a little bit less of a, like a burden to pull. So remember, Scotty, those upgrades are not the same. It's all randomized. And I have to complete most of this map in its entirety until there's nothing else to do here other than missions that require going to other maps. Gosh, I gotta be able to get to the fuel station. Or my fuel stop, come on baby. There it is. There's my fuel. I don't know if I'm going to make it. I don't even know if I'm going to make it. Please make it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You gotta be kidding me.
Oh. <laughs> oh, it's done. Oh, that sucks. Okay. That was so close. Oh, that is so sad. Give me some fin. Noggin. <laughs> <laughs> that is the worst ever. Is like whenever you run out of fuel. Oh. That is such a terrible feeling. Dang. Scout to the rescue once again. Okay, let's see. Where am I gonna go? Fastest way. Guess we'll go this way. Why not? It almost happened to you in Belazersk. Oh, you were in the green ring. Nice. Permission to raid. Can I have permission to raid? What? What do you mean, beastly? To raid my. For me to raid someone, or to get raided? Over the mountain? Yeah, probably. That's probably a faster way. Yeah, you could raid me if you, if you want. Can't remember which map. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Man, that's running out of fuel. I'm so like, <laughs> I don't know. I'm really good at keeping keeping fuel, like setting up fuel stops and all that jazz. Like that rarely happens to me, but when it does, oh my goodness, it's so irritating. It's so irritating because then I have to do this. I have to kind of like jump in a new truck, drive all the way across the map. And lo and behold, oh, you downloaded World of Tanks again to see what would happen. Treat me like you're a new player. What? But, but you have all your tanks from the garage? Really? You know what I would do, Chris? I would put in a, uh, a ticket to Wargaming. It says you have no permission. Um, so Beastly, if, if you're streaming, you can easily raid someone if you just raid them. Pretty sure. I don't think there you have to have permissions to raid someone. I've always just raided someone. Yo, something nice. Finally got the rank six. Nice, man. Awesome. You can get all terrain tires. You're no longer stuck at highway. Nice, man. That's awesome. 
I know all about it. Checked your worth under account a few months ago. Had 3 million silver lions. Oh. No ideas how. Wow, that's kind of that's kind of crazy. Lone Wolf carried a scout with him somehow. He mounted it between the trailer and the crane. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he de he's definitely known for doing stuff like that. Yeah, he definitely does that a lot. It is handy to do that, to pack a scout on top of, of something or do that. It's very, very cool. What's up, Brian? Welcome in, man. You're all chain tires now? Nice. Lone Wolf is a, a chain tires advocate. He does love the loaf. The loaf is it's it's a really good scout. It is a really good scout. What map am I on? This is Smithville Dam. Michigan, uh Smithville Dam second map. He's obsessed with the loaf? Yeah, he is. The thing is it he's pretty justified with it, man. It it's a good scout. It is it is really good scout. Okay, let's get back on. Okay, wait a second. Okay, so we're going to do. Nope, what am I doing? What am I doing? Yeah. All right, let's see here. I'm going to stop. I need to think here. I, I don't know if I want to. Cross the river. All right. So here's what I'm going to do, actually. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. District, welcome in, man. What's going on? Does the game differ if one go... The game, I, I don't know. I think... I think you change the game when you use mods. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest. I think you change the experience. But... I'm definitely not a person who's going to... Oh, shoot. Oh. Okay. I need to, like, square myself up. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Busy getting wrecked by this game. However, I mean, if you, if you think about it, like, I am using a mod right now. This is a randomizer mod, and it is changing the game for sure. Oh. Okay, I guess we'll just do this then. You know this. I'm taking those service part those parts off because I want to leave them there. Yeah, I want to leave them there. All right. Down to deliver this concrete. I don't think it's too bad. I don't think... I mean, I'm getting... 
I'm getting crushed right now. <laughs> but it's fine. <laughs> trying, I'm trying, District. I'm trying. It's just gonna be slow. It's gonna be a slower, slower burn, I guess. I honestly wish I had a little bit more power. That's. I do. I really wish I had a little bit more power. I don't know if this thing is pulling this uh, this trailer as good as I thought it would. Okay. I'm going to practice. There we go. What in the world? Not even hitting it. <laughs> Ugh. And what would I choose more? Power or better tires? Um, I'm going to probably say power. As long as I can... As long as I can downshift and lock everything down, I think power is going to be my, my go-to. Yeah, I think I think power. Are you serious? I can't touch that rail. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I can't grab that rail even with my crane. Yeah, if it was highway trucks, it'd be worse. Okay, let's see if it'll actually grab this. No. Basically, yeah, they did. Okay, well... I have to resort to. Really? <laughs> okay. I'm just going to get the scout once again. I need to add more sounds. You have too many channel points. Yeah, I'm going to work on that. Oh, oh. Hold on a second. Ooh. All right, let's go. To the rescue. The Among Us startup sound? I think... Yeah, maybe I will add some more sounds. We'll see. I don't know if I'm really concerned with... with adding a ton of sounds because I'm not really like a streamer. I kind of stream a little bit not really, but I just, I really just stream to like interact with everyone. 
Like it's not, I, I think if I was like a streamer who streamed like four hours a day, which I don't think I ever could, um, I would probably do, I, my stream would be pretty much decked out. I'd, ha I'd have polls on there and truck requests and stuff like no, that. Oh God! <laughs> no, God, please, no, no, no! <laughs> All right. Why does it turn the all-wheel drive off? That is ridiculous that it does that. Wait, the tribe called cars? Does he does he stream at all? I don't think I've ever seen him stream. You appreciate all these flips? <laughs> nice. Glad I can oblige. He's stuck in there good, man. He's stuck in there real good. Oh, so he actually streams? Really? I didn't know that. Oh, shoot. Hold on. Oh, too far. Too far once again. Engine or tires? <laughs> probably, probably right now. Ko's. I'm probably gonna say tires. <laughs> Wait, so he streams, you're saying, Scotty, he streams on Twitch? Oh my gosh, am I really... I need to get a better winch, man. That doesn't seem like it's far away. There we go. No, YouTube. Oh, okay. Oh, I think I'm stuck somewhere in the mud, actually. Give me a second. Yeah. I am level three right now, district. Okay, down and then back. Yo, still, yep. I'm gonna be level three for a while, man. Okay. <laughs> We're going to go around. Yeah, we're going to go around. This is uh Yeah, we're going to go around.
Oh, nice. You made it to level 16? Nice, man. Awesome. Okay, we should be okay. So what are level the what are but what are the differences between levels? Well, at level six I get all-terrain tires, which uh I definitely could use right now, but right about now. So we don't have that. And I think I bit off more than I can chew with this trailer. I think I should have got like a two or a three slot. I think I'm just trying to do too much. Okay. Up to solid foundation. The main missions? Yep, they are. They're going to have the most experience for sure. Probably KOs. I think I, I probably would be around that level. I think you're right. I just think this truck doesn't have... Uh, the trailer's wheels look huge, but also I only have 39 inch wheels. I don't have the race suspension on here. Oh gosh, I, I cannot get stuck right here. They look way out of proportion. May, you might be right. I don't. I don't know, man. I mean, the Kodiak isn't really a big truck either, so it isn't a small tire. But for the game, it is. Yeah, 30, thirty-nine inches is like is actually a really big tire, like in real life. But for Snowrunner, it's a small tire, unfortunately. Yeah, there's there's the axle lock up too. No rip. Yeah, it's not. That's right. They're not really. It's working hard for sure, man. It's, it's doing more than I'm, probably more than I've done with it in a long time. I don't want to say it's not doing good because I think it's doing good, all things considered. It is completely stock except for an all-wheel drive upgrade. So it's, it's doing pretty good. Maybe I'm not wielding it right, you know? It's like... Is it the sword or the swordsman? It was a Pepsi truck? Wow. It's a horse? I think the, the Kodiak has one of the best paint jobs, honestly. I don't know who would who else thinks that, but I love it. It would. It would do better with a simple sideboard, however, it was I need the crane. So remember the Kodiak can't use a sideboard bed with a crane it can use a low saddle with a crane so that's why i chose low saddle because there's a lot of missions that i need crane here 
And this is one of them. The only thing is, I probably should have chose the two slot trailer, and I think I would have been okay, uh, in a little bit better position. Um, but I brought the four slot just in case I wanted to haul some more things, but I think I think I just need more power. And I love the semi, yes. But the real reason is I don't I don't have it can't use a crane with a, a sideboard bed or I would have used it. Cause unfortunately this thing is not good with uh low saddle. Am I the only one here that likes low saddle? So who else who else uses the uh the flatbed with with a trailer and crane. God's does. Use a flatbed and crane. That's the only way you, you run the Tega King with uh, w with this setup then. Kane. Semi and Crane Naked Dave. Man, even the mod creator is saying, is agreeing with me. Saddle low guy too. Nice. BM17 is your low saddle. Nice, man. I mean, there's. I don't want. There's no correct way. I think. I think there's trucks that have better, they're better suited for one or the other. And I think it's all pending on, on where the, the, the placement of the saddle is and the frame length. And also if you can keep your wheels on the surface as well. Come on now. Man, I love the BM-17. I do. That's a good truck. I kind of am excited to use it. I have a feeling that I'm not going to get any more good upgrades. And the BM-17 is going to be quite a nice addition for me. Ah. Oh, thanks. Appreciate that. Thank you, Naked Dave. Appreciate that, man. It's honestly, man, that's it's really tough to make those. I'm trying to be. I do have some bias. I mean, that's a that's a quite apparent, but. I I mean, I think there's fair arguments, but I definitely can, can see everyone's point who disagrees. You run the Azov Seven with the crane flatbeds two slot. Yukon, not sure about the five slot semi. Would rather be yeah. Um, I think for maneuverability, I, I don't know. I think whenever you get into a tight spot and you back a semi out or back him and turn him around very easily, like here's a situation right here where if you had a hitch trailer, turning this thing around would probably be pretty tough. I mean, actually in this, in this spot, probably not actually, but there are. Lots well, like that. You can't go wrong. The solid foundation. Good luck. To the guy. Yep, 400. That's nice. We need that. Good stuff. When it's not low saddle, it's crane and flatbed for your other trucks. Yeah. Okay, back down. 
You prefer the flatbed over the sideboard? Okay. Yeah, I agree. I uh, definitely agree. If you could... If you could lock the front axle on those trailers, I think it would be better, but I think there still would be some issue with backing. I think it still would be frustrating in some ways, but... I'm going to try to stay out of the mud. Oh, what an idiot move. What an idiot move. <laughs> I got to call that out. That was very dumb. Okay. Oh no, I need gas again. Guys, I do think I need to go swap my trailer out, though. Um, <laughs> I, I don't think I can continue with a four slot. This this is where they get you right here in this little hill. This is where they get you with the flippies. Yeah, that's true. The one trailer that I was using on this um, didn't have it was it was almost like a big scout trailer. And it was really easy to back because I controlled every movement of it. So, I mean, if we had hit hitch trailers like that, it would be a different story, I think. Yep, I yep. Yeah, Worshi, welcome in as well. I probably slaughtered your name there. So uh, forgive me. Yeah, that's true. They do. I know, right? That's that's the bad thing, man, is... uh. It's working so hard that it's just burning up fuel. I think it just it's pulling too much weight and it doesn't have an upgraded engine. So it's just working hard, harder than it has to. I think it's stable too. I think it's it's pretty good. Its stability is okay. Now, with a crane, it's going to be different. But you also have a trailer helping you out with balance. So it, for me, it's a non-factor. I want to get up here. See, as long as you can put an angle, you're good. Oh my goodness, what was that? I just lost frames there. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave it. I don't know. I don't honestly want to take it back. <laughs> I want to take this trailer back. Get something better.
Less friction on tires give better consumption, give bigger fuel consumption. Okay, let's see. Oh, brother. Okay, here. Okay, hold on a second. I know what we're going to do right now. Let's go get some fuel from the scout. I'm going to tow this trailer across real quick. I'm not going to take too much fuel from him because, uh, yeah. Okay, let's go across the river. Man, I made a huge mistake, guys. With with bringing that trailer down, now I have to, like, take that thing all the way back. Which is going to be a headache. So, normally what I would do here is I would bring this here, take my truck all the way across, grab this next trailer, and then bring that thing down through here. Or, I probably wouldn't go up here, I'd probably go through here. And then bring it to this spot here that you have to drop it off, I believe. And that would be like pretty good logistics, but I don't, I really not gonna do that. Here we go. Hey guys. <laughs> oh man, this might be... I think I might take it easy through here. Oh my goodness, man. Oh my goodness, man. <laughs> Just a bit slippery. I don't know, there for a second over there when I first dipped in, I felt like it was starting to take me a little bit. But yeah, I don't remember this that being that tough, so... It's a good thing. You've lost so many trucks in that spot? Oh man. Nice. I knew you could do it. I had to bet on the husky guys. They were sure it wouldn't make it. I just scored a big win for this. Here's your share of the profit. 150 and 1300. Oh man, it, it, it's still pretty hard. <laughs> no, it's it's not that it's really not that bad. Okay, so we're at 3730. Um I'm at my two hour mark. That is all the time I have. I have to go help my wife uh, make dinner. So, kind of sucks. I can't stream a little bit longer because I wanted to get this trailer back. Get something different. Get these things over to this base. Get this bed out of there. I want to kind of finish up this whole area right here with all the tasks and stuff like that. 
And then I'm... Oh, man. And then I'm going to try to get all this stuff done, which is these oil barrels and cement and all that jazz. It's going to be tough, but... Uh, <laughs> I appreciate you guys being patient because it's uh, it's definitely slogging through very slow pace. So thank you guys. And anyways, have a wonderful day. If I didn't tell you guys earlier when you first came in and joined the chat, Merry Christmas. I hope you guys had a wonderful day with your family and a blessed time. It's uh, God is good, man. So thank you guys for that. Real life comes first. That's right. <laughs> That's right. All right, y'all. Take care. As always, God bless. Stay upright. We will see you next time.